Mm, Michael Gaffney lived here. He started the town of Gaffney by opening up a bar. If you ever find yourself in Gaffney, South Carolina, in the historic downtown area, make sure to stop and look at the replica log cabin of Gaffney's founder. Captain Michael Gaffney was an Irish immigrant who was highly educated and even studied at a university in Dublin. Upon arriving in America, Michael decided New York and then Charleston were not for him. Then, at the age of only 22, he moved to the backwoods of South Carolina. Besides the area's ideal weather, another reason he chose to come here was to escape the disease of yellow fever running rampant in both New York and Charleston. However, when Michael arrived, he did have some concerns. As he wrote in his journal about the poor state of the people who had settled the area and how self-reliant they had to be to survive. Fortunately, Michael did decide to stay in what then was Union County. And he purchased 850 acres of land for $600. Michael soon established a store at a crossroads, which would become known as Gaffney's Crossroads. Today, that exact spot is located at the intersection of North Grenard Street and Baker Boulevard. Not far from him was the cold, sweet, and therapeutic waters of Limestone Springs. One of Michael's ventures that brought him wealth besides his store was his tavern. By 1803, Michael married Mary Smith, more affectionately known as Polly. She was from the now famous Smith Ford Road. By 1804, Michael and Polly welcomed their first child of many in their log cabin. Notably, during the War of 1812, Michael organized a company of militia. Michael not only became known as a large property owner and very wealthy man, but also as a respected and influential man. While Michael's presence in the area is undoubtedly important, after his death at the age of 79 in 1854, Polly is really who made Gaffney so prosperous. In fact, it wasn't until 20 years after Michael's death, when Polly helped influence the railroad company to build in the area. As a result, by March 1875, the city of Gaffney was formed. Then, by 1897, the people of Gaffney and Blacksburg had caused enough ruckus that Union, York, and Spartanburg all gave enough land that a new county could be formed. The new county name was Cherokee, in honor of the Cherokee Nation, who once hunted the land. If you enjoyed this video, I hope that one day you find yourself in the town of Gaffney, South Carolina. In addition, if you enjoyed this video, please like it, and as always, thanks for watching. Michael Gaffney was born in the town of Grenard, Longford, Ireland, September the 29th, 1775, and died September the 6th, 1854. He was a man of unusual, an unusually strong mind, strength of appetite and passion, where its natural features after him was a, a life of many trials. When I was a baby, him was no, he's now he's physically. Is that right? Now he's mobility. Is that right, mommy? After a life of many trials, considered worldly successes and long, long continued struggles with the sins of and evils of the world around, he died a well established member of the Providence of Providence Baptist Church of this neighborhood with the triumph of faith on his lips.
And this is Mary Gaffney, his wife. And this must be their kids. Hey, watch out now. Don't get close to the road. <laughs>